What's up everyone? I hope you are doing well and welcome back to Young and Hungry. This is Sir Andy here. Today I want to take you with me to San Juan, the capital of Puerto Rico. A fantastic city filled with history, tradition, and some of the friendliest people in the world. We're going to try out Puerto Rican dishes at famous local establishments like Casita Blanca and world-class flavors at Chef Jose Enrique's restaurant. Who's Jose Enrique, you ask? Well, he's just the most celebrated chef in this tropical island paradise, he's all. But that's for dinner, though. We also have to check out the most famous landmark in all of Puerto Rico, the magnificent Castillo San Felipe del Moro, or El Moro. And now we will show you where to get the best coffee in the city. Oh, and uh, did I mention? I'm also going to show you the birthplace of Piña Colada. That's right, Piña Colada. And to finish it off, we're going to check out the most popular ice cream shop here too. So who's ready? Let's go! First on our list is Casita Blanca. Tucked away in a busy working class neighborhood, this off the beaten path Casi Blanca or White House produces some of the most authentic local flavors. The decor makes you feel as if you were in a local's home enjoying some home cooked meals. After being seated here, you will be served a cup of soup and a small basket of bacalaitos or codfish fritters. Ooh, what a beautiful morning here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It was really, really raining cats and dogs this morning, so I couldn't get out early. So right now it's about 11.30. Um, we're out about to have lunch right now, and this restaurant is absolutely packed. There are three levels. There's a little um, tiny level on the bottom and on the top. It's really cute. Let's try it out this mint lemonade. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, lemonade, very minty. Very thick, silky consistency. Oh, it smells like basically it's chowder, it's some kind of plantain chowder. Oh. oh my god, this is so good. Oh, wow. Very good. It's chewy, it's crispy on the outside. It's a really good snack. A little bit salty on the end there. Yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna dip it in here with the soup. Alright, no more waiting. Let's try the rice and bean first. Smooth, it's soft. I can already tell that the rice grains are extremely tender. It's so soft, incredibly moist. Mm. A little bit, you know, a little bit too moist for like for like the way um, Asians cook their rice. But I see a lot of people would love this. And I love this. This is like beautifully seasoned. It's not salty at all. It's perfectly balanced. The bean is so soft. And this is the pork shoulder. I mean, just look at this beautiful, tender bowl of pork shoulder. Oh my God, so soft. Oh my god. Look at the ball. I'm gonna dump it on the plate. Wow. Yeah. I can see some olives. I can see green red pepper here, green pepper here. I see some beans, some pigeon beans. Oh, it's beautifully put together. It's really, really good. Mm. And for dessert, this is on the house. It always comes on the house. This is sweetened rum. They put some sugar in there and three coffee beans. Let's try it out. 
Oh. oh, it's so strong. But it's so sweet. Wow, it's really good. Oh my god, I can feel the burn. Oh man, it's coming through down my throat. Oh my god, now it's in my stomach. Oh, oh my god, that doesn't feel good, eh? Kind of sounds so wrong, too. I'm gonna try to finish this plate, and then um, we'll head back to uh, Old San Juan. Let's go. Few landmarks are more representative of Puerto Rico's legacy within the Caribbean and the Americas than Castillo San Felipe del Moro, better known as El Moro. During most of its nearly 500 year history, it was an important military outpost for Spain and later the United States. Old San Juan was founded in 1521 by the Spanish. El Moro was the second fort built on the island of what is now Old San Juan and Puerta de Tierra. El Moro's construction commenced in 1539 and finished in 1790. Thanks to El Moro and El Cañuelo, the Spaniards were able to defend Puerto Rico from invasion by the British, Dutch, and pirates. If you're coming into Old San Juan on a cruise ship, you would not miss El Moro. El Moro is open 7 days a week from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The entrance fee is $10 for adults, and children under 15 years of age have free admission. Much of the fort's inner courtyard is exposed and can get quite hot during summer days, so make sure to dress appropriately and drink plenty of water. The fort is also very windy, so skirts and dresses are not recommended and you want to hang on to your hats. Thank you. Do, do you make these? Do you make no, the sorbet no. yourself? No, I the my factory. Oh, they have the factory. Okay. Yes. Good. So we are taking a break. By we, I mean just me. Jesus Christ, I keep saying we. What a fantastic historic site here. Man, I am so lucky to be witnessing it in, in person here. The uh, the white one is coconut. And this one is passion fruit. I mean, all this for three dollars only. Wow, what a deal! Whoa, it's getting really windy out here. <laughs> the ocean is just right there. So, oh my god, it was raining a lot the entire day. And whenever I stop, I try to film as much as possible. But now it's just so windy. Just look at all of this. I couldn't keep my hat on because it was blown away multiple times. Oh man. Alright, let's quickly get out of here before it starts raining. Let's go. When was the store open? The store was open in uh, 2012, right. and it's been open since that year. Right, 2012. And, yeah. Um, but then the chain, the history has got is going back to like it goes back to 1800. Yes. Oh, okay. And <laughs> because it's been for um, four generations. It's been the Don Ruiz family. Yes, we have our own coffee here in Puerto right. Rico in Jauco. Right. Um, and we have our own farm. We roast our own coffee and it's our specialty. It's a medium dark roast coffee. And the farm is local here? Or it's, it's local, like... yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can have here the map of Puerto Rico. It's in the south in Yauco. In Yauco? Yes. Oh, okay. And it, it's been owned by the same family With ever the same since? same family. The Ruiz family. Right. Are you related to that family? I'm not related. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I'm part of the family for working Absolutely. here. <laughs> yeah, what's like a typical uh, Puerto Rican coffee? Do you have a typical So we style? usually drink like uh, cafe con leche. So right. that's basically a latte, eight ounce latte. It's our go-to. Okay. I'm not too sure, but something special is going on in the back. Some people is, is singing. It's just probably yelling, but... But it's really nice yelling. It's really good. Wow, incredible. And they have a lot of photo shoots out here too. Beautiful place, beautiful place. And we're gonna try out the coffee right now. Let's give it a try. And people there are just so incredibly nice. Oh my god, wow, that is good. That is some really good coffee. It's not bitter at all, it, it's really nice and, and smooth. And mm, a little bit bitter on the aftertaste there, but it's so incredibly sweet. It's chocolatey. They, they put a little bit of chocolate powder in here. Oh wow, that is really good. And the whole milk, yeah, make it really, really silky. Wow, so good highly recommend it guys you have to come to this cafe check out the museum of the americas here it's a gorgeous gorgeous museum and at night all these lights get lit up this purple light here it gets lit up all these corridors get beautifully lit up and you have to come check this place out there's so much culture and there's so much history in this place you cannot miss it and we have a special reservation at Jose Enrique in about half an hour. It's the number one, the best restaurant in Puerto Rico. It's run by and owned by Chef Jose Enrique. He's a celebrated chef, one of the best in the world. We have to check it out. So let's go. got the beautiful drinks here with me so this one came on the house so this is the Frosé uh, it's $12 for a whole glass but I, I got a little sample here with Justin Rosé who goes the Juanabana and with Pacha y Limon you gotta learn Spanish and this one is the San Juan Jewel with rye whiskey menta who goes the Pacha y Lima agua con soda so let's try this one first It's strong, but it's wow, it's still so cold. It's so incredibly cold. Wow, but it's so fruity, it's so good. You can taste the uh, the guanabana, it's, it's so incredibly good. Mm. Oh, it smells heavenly, it smells so minty and so fruity. Uh, let's try this. <laughs> oh man, I'm such a sucker for alcohol. Woo. Oh, it is strong, it, it's flavorful, it's really minty. And again, I don't even need to bite. I mean, you don't even need teeth to chew on this. You just press it with your gum, it's just gonna melt. What a gorgeous piece of fish, wow. What's your name? I'm Clay. Clay? What's your name? Lauren. What? Lauren. Lauren. Uh, I'm Andy, by the way. Andy. Very nice to meet you. So, for the people here, I just met these two beautiful, beautiful friends here. This is Clay and that's Lauren over there. And uh, they're inviting me to try out the chicharron right now. Oh, this is the uh, fried pork belly. Yeah, that's yeah. Yes. And the sauce is what? 
You just call it spicy sauce. It's, it's, spicy sauce. it's not too spicy though. Just a spicy sauce. It's not too spicy. Cheers. Alright, all right. cheers folks. <laughs> oh my god, that is tender. No. Wow. Good crisp. It's tender and crispy. Mm. I love it. A little salty. Mm. So this one reminds me of the Vietnamese uh, marinated and um, caramelized pork belly. I don't know if you ever had that. But Chinese and Vietnamese cooking are very similar and they have the same dish too, but it's just not deep fried. This is incredibly good. Wow. If I had to guess, this is an aioli with some of that Tabasco sauce. There's literally <laughs> a, 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 a five gallon jug of Tabasco sauce. I know, that's the, the most yeah. Tabasco sauce I've ever seen. In my <laughs> that's life. the biggest jug of Tabasco ever. It's good, wow. it's good enough that I can't stop. Like this I, is I really good. So, do you like this? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. It's delicious. Yeah. Wow. And what else did you get besides this? We haven't decided yet. <laughs> we haven't. I'm, I'm looking we'll for see. something with rice and beans. So I was, I was looking at the skirt steak, but that's awesome. We'll yeah. Yeah. More to that's come. gonna be so good. Wow. Here we go. I'm signing off. That's why you gotta travel. You know, you're gonna meet amazing people on the way. You gotta make friends. You know. All right. This dish smells delicious. It smells heavenly right now. I can smell the garlic, the fish, uh, the sweet puree, the sweet potato puree is really coming through right now. I can feel it. Oh my god, it just cannot wait. So let's dig in. Uh, let's try to cut up this fish. It's going to be a beautiful piece of fish here. This is perfectly white and tender piece of halibut. Oh, it's smoking hot too. You can, I don't know if you can tell the smoke coming out of it. Oh, oh my god, it's so incredibly good melt in your mouth, buttery smooth. It's so tender, it falls apart. You don't even need to bite it. Again, most of the food here, I don't think you need to bite anything. <laughs> Let's try the uh, sweet potato to be right. All right guys, that was the full day that we had. You know, it was incredible. And I am so glad that you guys were all here to share this experience with me. And San, Old San Juan is just a gorgeous, wonderful, historic city. And I highly recommend anyone to come here and visit it. Spend a few days here, one or two days here, rent a car and then drive around the island. Check out Puerto Rico. You would not be disappointed. If you want some food, check out some of the places I went to and then check out Jose Enrique. You will not be disappointed. You're gonna love this place. So that's it for tonight's video, guys. And you know, this is one of the coolest bars. You know, the graffiti and the decor is a little bit too much for me, but you know, to each his own. You can come here and check it out. It's a really cool vibe here. The people are nice. You know, all the guests are having fun. It's just I'm, I'm walking around Old San Juan, so I'm just gonna keep going, and we're gonna get a drink somewhere else. All right, let's go. Wow, they just played a beautiful film on the wall of the mansion over there. I think it was like Happy Christmas theme or something, but it was amazing. And then suddenly they turn on all the lights up above, which is gorgeous. The street is amazing. Uh, That's right. Here you All go. right. What's in it, man? You have pineapple juice and coconut cream, boss. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. I All right. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. All right. Here we go. You know it. When you're in Old San Juan, you gotta check out Barraquilla. This is where they claim that they came up with the original pina colada. So let's give it a try. Man, it's so fresh, incredibly refreshing. That rum, that, that coconut, oh my God. That pineapple, it just hits so hard. Wow, it's so incredibly fresh, it's really, really good. I don't care if they came up with it first, it's just, it's just a really good drink, whether or not they came up with it first. It's really, really good, wow. Woo! Woo! Hey. Yeah.
All right, I tried to go outside and film myself, but it was so pitch black, I couldn't see anything. And the staff has been gracious enough to uh, allow me to stand here for like 10 seconds. So I have 10 seconds to eat this whole ice cream. Let's do it. Oh, it's so hot. And I made a mess. Oh, crap. Oh. 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 I bit into it. Oh my god. Wow, man, that thing is cold. I bit right into it. Oh. Oh, god, I need, need new teeth. I can't talk. Oh, but it's really, really fresh. But it's hard though. It, it's not one of those gelato soft ice cream. It's a popsicle. It's hard. How do you make the, uh, like the, the ice cream? I'm not part of the factory team, but I do know that they have these molds and then they do the mixture of, uh, like separately. Then they put one of, part of the mold so that they can have the space for the Nutella. And then they add the Nutella. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. just like... I don't even know what it is. It's like water. It's kind of a little bit bland, but definitely refreshing. It feels very fresh. Um, this is like the most popular. This is the spot in town for ice cream and popsicle. So you guys gotta come and check it out. All right, all right. Let's go. Keep moving on. All right, that's it for tonight's video, guy. What a long day that we had, but what an amazing day that we had together too. I'm sure you already hit that subscribe button because you guys are awesome. And remember, remember, keep it up, never give up. Stay young, stay hungry. I'll see you on the next one, yeah? Goodbye.